This is Trax, and today we're gonna to be looking at some celebrity grills. Everybody has to have their grills if they're in the hip hop game, if they're doing something big. Grills have to be molded specifically to somebody's teeth and they have to be manufactured. Now when you're working in somebody's mouth, you're putting your hands in there, you gotta make sure you have gloves, you gotta make sure you have the right equipment, you gotta make sure you fit it to the teeth correctly, you gotta make sure you use dental gold. You don't want Tom, Dick and Harry trying to make you grills. You wanna make sure that the people you're doing business with are reputable and do the right job. Paul Wall. So Paul Wall is a grills legend. He's got the princess cuts. That's a very difficult setting to do. It's dangerous. I don't like doing princess cuts because I'm always scared a diamond's gonna fall out, crack somebody's tooth when they're biting down on something. Princess cut diamonds are essentially square diamonds, okay? It's a nice, beautiful name for just a square shape of a diamond. And you take these diamonds and you stack them like boxes side by side. So there's nothing in between. And that's called an invisible setting, meaning that there's no prongs holding in the diamond. The diamonds are wedged together uh, shoulder to shoulder. That's what's holding them in and there's bars of gold underneath. And sometimes when the diamonds aren't cut properly or this happens or that happens, a diamond might fall out. If it falls out and it cracks your tooth, you're gonna have a big problem because diamonds are very hard. And if you don't know, you're biting down with your full jaw strength, thinking you're gonna close your jaw like you normally do and you crack your tooth in half, you're gonna be running to the dentist screaming. To get fitted for a grill, you gotta make a mold. The process of getting a mold done. Well, you have to mix in two different compounds and that you have 30 seconds or 40 seconds before they dry. So you put them in a special mold, put it on your teeth, press down. The real professionals, they hit it with a second layer that gives more definition for the proper fit. So that's how you get your teeth molded and then it's up to the manufacturer to take it from there to get you your casting, the gold, the right millimeter width for the right size diamonds. You don't want anything damaging you and things like that. Little Yachty. So here you have Little Yachty with a very unique, very beautiful grill set, multi-colors. You got orange, you got yellow, you got blue. Now, most likely the orange and some of these colors are very bright, you got green. Those are sapphires or some sort of gems, but they're still very high quality. It's not a cheap job. The labor is very difficult. The labor is very high on that. They had a beautiful setting made and the craftsman that was working on those did a good job. Quavo. It's a second set of Quavo Invisible Baguette. So these grills right here went viral. These are Quavo's Baguette grills. A baguette is a less brilliant diamond. It has less facets. They were in in the 90s. They're back. Back in the 90s, jewelry was in its infancy. They weren't really that good. Now we have high quality. Quavo only gets the best. He's a little bit of a guinea pig though because these baguettes are a new setting, and if one of them falls out, it could cause a little bit of a problem. You could bite on it, it could cut your tongue, you don't wanna experiment with it. When you're doing that as grills, it has to be considered, because you're not just gonna go, oops, I lost my diamond. You're gonna have something that's as hard as any material possibly out there mixing in with your teeth. That's a dangerous situation. Hopefully they did their homework on these grills. Hopefully they did the stress test, and hopefully they got this guy where he's not gonna be having any type of problem. But again, these are beautiful grills. Everyone wants them, everyone's a fan of them. Expensive diamonds, expensive setting, very hard to pick these out. So that's another trend for Quavo. Trippy Red. So here you got Trippy Red with the shark teeth. It's a little ridiculous, but if you're an artist and you wanna look crazy, might as well have the shark teeth. So you're gonna have that, and he's got inscriptions on it. The quality of the blue diamonds is very high. They're very bright. I know they're blue diamonds. I know blue diamonds very well. Sometimes you get such a real aqua blue with high, high quality diamonds. So that individual who's making those grills wanted to keep him as a customer. And he's got letters on top. So it's a very intricate grill, but you're not gonna make a lot of sense when you're speaking with shark teeth. Riff Raff. Before Trippy Red, there was Riff Raff. Riff Raff had similar shark teeth. These are more like piranha teeth, to be honest. It's a very, very sharp, very, very crazy, very, very aggressive look. He's got a different type of blue diamond there. They're not quite as bright, but it's still a good setting. 
and the design is very, very intricate. However, you don't want to bite your tongue off for teeth like this in your mouth. That's a very dangerous thing to have. Don't go get yourself some shark teeth, have a couple of drinks, get in an argument, and end up going to the hospital. Grills are not teeth. Do not eat with your grills in your mouth. Don't chew gum with them, and even smoking is not preferable. If you're smoking, you're gonna get the same thing that happens to people's teeth when they smoke, the same thing that happens to their lungs. You're gonna get a film of tar that's gonna have to be removed. You're gonna get your grills dirty, and then you're gonna have to get them cleaned by a real jeweler. Pharrell Williams. Pharrell with a very beautiful enamel. This is a very high quality enamel piece. It's got a lot of luster to it, a lot of glow. It's not like that plastic dull enamel. That's always good, that's a good material. You don't want cheap materials in your mouth, especially when they're made out of chemicals. Those are very beautiful, very well done. They look like 18 karat gold. That's another beautiful set that people would love to see. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky's got the classic yellow gold grills, tops and bottoms. Those might even be 18 karat dental gold. That's what they look like. They are done professionally. These are not the type of teeth you get at the mall. Beautiful polish, beautiful finish, and that's why he's so proud of them in this photo. And I would be too. These are very, very nice, and this is what your standard gold tops and bottoms should look like. Travis Scott. So here you have Travis Scott with a very rare grill set. An invisible setting of chocolate diamonds, white diamonds, pink diamonds, and blue diamonds. Very rare, you don't see a lot of pink diamond grills, and especially in this type of variety and color. So I'm sure he chose those colors himself. I'm sure that's the way he wanted it. He got it in rose gold, most likely, hopefully, dental gold, because rose gold can be a little tricky, but I'm sure they did their homework when they did these grills for him. Dental gold is a special type of gold that doesn't have some metal alloys that might be allergens, it might not have zinc, or it might not have nickel, specifically to have in your mouth. Very rare, very interesting grill set, something that you're not gonna see everybody have. Young M.A. So these are Young Amaze grills. I did them personally, so I know the quality. We use the best for her. We like to keep these people as customers. We did a beautiful prong setting for her, molded her teeth with two layers of molding. We molded them once, then we hit it with another layer of a special type of gel that gets all the details so the fit would be comfortable. It gets the gum line so the gold doesn't press against her gums. No discomfort, no inconvenience, from the business to the product to anything else, we make sure we take care of our people 100%. So that's why she's smiling and she looks pretty happy. Little Wayne. So Little Wayne has got the classic prong set grill here. The setting on this one looks a little bit old fashioned. He might have had it for a long time. He's a grills originator. This particular is a classic. He's got white diamonds, top and bottom, on white gold. Could be even platinum, hard to tell. The setting could have been better, but he did start the trend. These are probably his original pair. Very, very nice, very good pieces, and clean white diamonds, so it's just a classic. Kanye West. You got Kanye West here with six bottom teeth. Fully iced, he's got them flooded with the yellow gold. It's a beautiful look. If, if you don't wanna have the full mouth flooded out, you could get a couple of teeth done, just a touch. It's more of an artistic sense. Obviously, this guy's known for his artistic style and everything like that, so that's what he's doing here, and it's a nice touch. It's subtle, it's just right. It requires a lot of experience in the jewelry business to do jewelry correct and you have to have intelligence and you have to have a determination that you're gonna do a product that's gonna satisfy your customer. And not every jeweler has that. 